Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying four food items for you. These are all from France. And Mona sent us these so that she could make fun of the way we say any of these <laughs> French words. <laughs> no, Mona, thank you very much for choosing these for us. We have not tried these. Um, I will probably try to say some and spell others. I'm sure whatever I say will be incorrect. So be kind in the comments. I've never been to France and I'm not French. So <laughs> I, I don't think I should be expected to say these things correctly. These are Lulu. They are biscuits. They are strawberry biscuits. These are both nougats. And the names, I just, I can't, when, we'll go over the names when we get to these, but they're both almond nougats. And these are truffles. Truffles. So <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll try to go over the names as we get to them. So these are the uh, Lulu biscuits. Oh. Okay, I, I expected it to come out package. in one big long uh, plastic package and it didn't. It surprised me. It says these are French strawberry cookies. They are a product of France. And they have 27.8% uh, strawberry puree, which is good, really good. Mm. They good are good. 23 calories per uh, biscuit. They're like little boats. And even though it has that shape on the front, that did not, it just didn't compute. Did I break it? Okay. Oh, no. It just didn't compute with me. They're kind of a rubbery mm. kind of cookie. More of a pastry than a cookie. That is so good. No, they're okay. They're not plain. I really like that. I like the strawberry puree in the middle. It's kind of like a it's jam. It's strong. Mm -hmm. it, um, I think it's the cookie I don't like necessarily. Oh, now see, I like that. Yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't a crisp cookie, mm -hmm. but it wasn't soft either. It was kind of. A, it's a pastry. It was crisp on the outside, but then it was kind of doughy on the inside. Yeah, yeah it is like a pastry. But I really love the the uh, fresh strawberry. Yeah, flavor. I like the strawberry. I didn't care for the texture. Yeah, because Kevin always eats uh, preserves, right? Mm -hmm. And this is strong yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Th those are those are a keeper. Those are good. Okay. This is one of the nougats. <laughs> it is, I'm going to spell the name. It is um, C-H-A-B-E-R-T-E-T-G-U-I-L-L-O-T. -E and it is a product of France. Chabaret de la I just, who knows? I just know that even though I said I wouldn't be able to pronounce it if I tried something. Uh, but you know, I, I mean, can't help it though. I mean, we, we're not French, never taken French. I, I don't hear French. anyone really speak that much French. This has sugar, almonds, honey, glucose syrup, wafer, paper. Uh, we bought some of these. Yeah, they have a paper on them that um, you eat. It seems <laughs> like when we went to Jungle Gems, mm -hmm. we bought some of these mm -hmm. and tried them with Andrew, and Andrew loved them. It's good. It's I just, love uh, the amount of almonds in there. A that. sweet almond nougat. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the difference between that and this is, though. That all you taste is the almonds and sugar and honey. That is delicious. I love that. I think that's very, very good. Mm. It has, it says 100 grams is 446 calories, but now this is only 30 grams. So it's not gonna be near that much. You would have to do math, which I'm not gonna do, um, if you cared. But th that is excellent. I like that a lot. It's very good. It's a, it's, it's a little firm, so it's not really super soft or anything, but it, but it is good. Um, Andrew good. likes these so much that we saw um, a bag of these, I think it was a Tuesday morning over the holidays. And so I gave him a bag of these uh, miniature ones in his Christmas stocking because he likes them so now much. Now this one has different things in it. This looks like it has sunflower seeds or pumpkin seeds or something. This, uh, the brand is A-R-N-A-U-D-S-O-U-B-E-Y-R-A-N. And it has, um, 
sugar, almonds, sugar, glucose syrup, and honey. Oh, it has pistachios. Pistachios. That's and wafer part. paper. So, so this one, that's the difference. Is it has pistachios? Oh, so mm -hmm. a little green. I don't know if they're a pumpkin seed because they're uh, about the same system, the color. The pistachio has made a difference. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, huge number. Mm -hmm. I don't like it as well either. <laughs> I was gonna say, Kevin's not really a pistachio person. It's like eating grass. I like that because I like pistachios. It added more of a it had a nuttier flavor. It did. I agree. A more um, organic flavor, but I do like the first one better. I like, I like the pure almond and honey because mm -hmm. it's sweeter. The other one um, gave it a, a more earthy uh, yeah. flavor. Um, I still like it though. Okay. Okay. Now this, these are truffles. They are. Uh, Chocolat, it's M-A-T-H-E-Z. So, Mathes um, is how I would pronounce that. These are salted butter caramel crystals truffle. That's what it says. It smells good. Mm -hmm. French cacao truffles salted butter caramel. That's a cocoa powder on that. There's crunch bits in there. You see the caramel? Mm-hmm. The chocolate is literally melting your mouth. I love the texture. Mm-hmm. It's very and good. It's um, interesting because it's cold. Mm-hmm. It's actually like these have been in the refrigerator. They've, they're like they've been chilled. Hmm. So that's, that's different. I mean, these have all been kept in the same place. You would yeah. think if one, those were cold, everything would be cold. It's not. Those are literally like they've been chilled. That's very good. Not something I would want all the time. Mm -hmm. but, but I love the texture. The chocolate just literally melts mm -hmm. in your mouth. You get these little crunchy, almost like uh, uh, cooked sugar bits, yeah. like toffee bits in there. Those are very good. It would be, even though I said I wouldn't want them all the time, it would be easy to overindulge in those too. Oh, yeah. Because they are yeah. very pleasing to your mouth, very fun to chew. Um, and I would probably go back and forth, trying to keep it in my mouth and then trying to, to uh, uh, chew it. But I like those a lot, and, no calories and they are a darker, uh, a darker. Um, well, they're cacao, so yeah, it's it's a darker a chocolate. Bit, yeah. But I like the caramel flavor too. It's a sweet caramel. Yeah, there's no calories anywhere in there. So all of these were from France. Mm -hmm. If you only had the money to buy one item, what would you Part buy? Probably these truffles. The, the nougat's good, but it's a little too hard for me. And, and I know you wouldn't buy the one with the pistachio no. anyway. And the biscuits, like I said, I like the flavor of the strawberries, the strawberry. but the, I didn't like the actual dough. Right. I'm going to say those truffles too. Those, yeah. are, those are just, very good. they have a very, very rich uh, flavor. None um, of these other ones, when I ate one, did I feel like going back for another one. These, I'm, I'm wanting to go back. To go back and keep one. eating, yeah. But I like these too. And I think uh, I think these would be uh, good for kids too. I think yeah. kids would really. Well, they have pictures of like little bears and stuff on them. Yeah, I, I bet they're popular in France with kids. Uh, if you all have ever tried them or know who eats them in France, you'll have to let me know. I mean, I would eat them definitely because I think they're good. And I wonder if they do different flavors too, like blueberry or apricot or stuff like that. So, but thank you, Mona, very much for sending these to us. We appreciate it, even though I couldn't pronounce the stuff. It's still good to. Eat and fun to try. So I hope you all enjoyed the video too and thanks for watching.